Hey, what's going on guys? Golden Metal Mouth 06 here with another episode of Skyblock Season 3. And I have some explaining to do. I hear an echo. Hmm. I haven't recorded it in a while. Oh, actually, it's probably because I haven't recorded it in a while. I haven't recorded in a while, mainly because my laptop that I use, I lost because I'm in college and I'm always... I lost my laptop, basically. And what happened... I lost it, and I just got it back not too long ago. I'm in F1. Uh, not too long ago. I have some things to show you on. I lost, uh, I lost my laptop, and I think it's because I'm in a new room. Why it's so echoey? Yeah, I'm in a different room, guys. I, because I'm in college, I actually have an office now that I made in my house in a different room that we had. Also, this tree is hollow, and this is where Daniel's gonna be living, and this is where everything we're gonna be repairing is going. So yeah, this is what the house looks like right now. I have 1.3 million balance, I'll explain that in a moment. But I had, I've had a lot of money since the start. I've done a lot. And I haven't posted the first episode yet. I haven't had time to edit A because I haven't had my computer. And B, I'm doing a lot of homework and things like that for college. So, what, I lost my computer because it accidentally fell out of my backpack actually. Let's just go home another because I have a home set of another. And we went to the... We went, oh, I'll show you this in a minute, it'll show you that in a minute. We went to, I found, I got it back just uh, last week from, probably not when I post this, but I just got it back recently, not too long ago, I'll explain that in a minute. And it was nice, it was really nice, I'm really happy I have it back. Now I can post things, I didn't lose the quest for the Golden Creeper world, look at this, this is nice. And I didn't lose anything else, I just got home actually from school, that's why, uh, uh I'm recording right now, pretty much, because I just got home from school, and, oh man, I can't, so I'm going to be trying to get episodes out as much as I can, but I'm in college, guys, and it's going to be hard, editing is probably going to be taken over the weekends, and then put out over the weekend, so it's not going to be every uh, other day, which I pretty much failed at miserably, be, miserably, but hopefully that will happen, but also, in the running, I might actually be getting a different computer. I probably will be buying a computer for you guys. And for, for me, mainly, to just record Minecraft on and use a different recording software. And actually being able to have hard drive space to upload videos and have them actually scheduled. Because I can't do that. And I, I think I might be able to do it, but I don't know how. So, anyways, let's get on with the tour. So, right here, we actually had an IG farm. Uh, there were five IGs. I'll actually show you my PV1 to prove it. Uh, we bought five IGs. I'll show you uh, all the changes because some changes have been made. And we did some AFK. I was having some trouble AFKing recently. And I don't know why. I was getting kicked. Just almost instantaneously. But item filters work. There's also been a slight change to item filters. To how authors transfer items again. I don't know why. I think it's bad. Because it makes it a lot worse, but we had uh, one uh, skeleton spawner. I think in here at the uh, no, we didn't. We I don't think we did, but we do. We also got another star. Me and Daniel got two, three wither wither skulls. I think he might have bought one or something like that, but it took a long time. And as you can see, that uh, skeleton is spawning in differently. These are the different uh, spawner tiers, which I'll show you right now. So we have access to all these spawners we can pay. It's a pretty good pr Oh, they lowered it again. It was 250 Or maybe it's just the type of spawner. Interesting. I did not think of that. But that I think that was, that was 250 the last time I was used it. So I don't know. That's interesting. So there are, you can access all these spawners, zombies, spiders, cave spiders, blazes, and a lot of other ones. You don't really have, like, all access to all mobs, but you have access to some. I don't know why horses is that. That's weird. Anyways, so we have five spawners here. This is actually, I will do a slash spawner. Uh, I did not spell that right. There's no one home right now, also. That's why I'm kind of recording. Uh, this is a rare there's a mythical, and then there's a legendary. This is how much money you need. Uh, rare is 2.5 million, and that's what this one is. And that just spawns two skeletons at a time. I don't think there of any is if there's any other perks, 
but that's pretty much it. We make our money off of this, but we also have a six strat I've been working actually on. I, did, I wanted to keep working on it, but I was like, I need to get an episode out. I need to record this before I continue. So here is our Iron Golem uh, V2 farm that we're going to be building. We have some materials in here and such to do that. So let's show you what's going to happen. And we're probably going to be working on building this up a little bit. But Iron Golems are going to go in here. This is one chunk. I'm going to be making sure farms are in one chunks because apparently spawners, it's really weird. You don't need to be close to spawners for them to spawn mobs. I'll show you that in a little bit, but it's really strange. But I have to do some more work on this because I don't think this is going to work. Because it wasn't working really. I can show you what I mean. So, um, because I, I honestly don't know why this is not the case. So we have the items flowing down in here and we have a cake in the to push it up against the the wall and it should in theory uh why am I, what am i doing it should be get picked up but it seems that it's not getting picked up for some weird reason i don't know why i need to actually do a test to see if this is work because the hoppers were getting filled and hoppers instead of picking up 25 items like it changed during the middle of last season it now is back to its transfer of four i can show that like uh right here so Oh, no, it changed. What? I do not know, guys. Uh, server buggy. I don't know. Because it was for yesterday, I swear. That's really interesting. They must be doing some changes or things like that. And something maybe happened in, while they were doing something. I don't know. In a server reason. But anyways, this is what we're working on. And uh, I just need to get these hoppers to pick things up and sort items. I might make it. So that it's actually hoppers right here. I don't know. This is going to be difficult. Really difficult. Uh, I'm going to do some testing probably. Because these are, you, you know these are in the quest of the season 2 world. You know how these work. I actually should. I think I got that episode out. I don't know. I'm really behind. Anyway, so I'll show you how we've been making some money. Let's go to the shop. Shop view I changed. Uh, there was some issues. Sell all actually works now, so we can actually, we don't have to go in and sell it. It actually works the regular way. Iron for 60, for 8 sells for 64. Oh, that's pretty good, but then you look at this. Buckets, literally 3 iron is $75. So, what we've been doing to make money is using IGs, and I've been crafting buckets and selling buckets for a lot, for about like uh, 10 chests of iron. Just pure iron. That's 250k about for just the ingots. That's about 1 million worth of buckets. That's how much big of a difference it is. So that's really nice. And that's how I've been making some money. I'm actually going to do a little bit of building. So we're just going to... I built a little bit of this. We're probably going to... I'm probably going to finish it today. But we're going to be doing a lot of jump clips and all that. And that's pretty much how these episodes are going to go. Not a lot of building on camera because I don't have really much time to do that but I have some time now because no one's home so I'm just gonna use the rest of this and then I'll be pausing this and uh, stopping the episode and then continue recording once uh, I have some more time probably then in the next couple days but yeah so let's place that down again and down like that and yeah that's pretty good so I've for when you next see me, I'll probably be working on uh, figuring out how to get this to work. What will probably happen is I might shoot the water out a little bit. And uh, what I mean by that is I might make it, because uh, uh, there's some space underneath here. And I can move this wall back to put a water stream down. And then that water stream will then uh, push them into this one and should get them up right up against the block but I'll really quick show you why so this should f this hits the wall hits the wall it's just because it's really laggy too and it doesn't it's it has a hard time calculating its position so I don't really know what we're gonna be doing there but we'll figure it out eventually yeah we'll probably figure out cuz so what's gonna happen is I'm gonna be putting in sign soon iron golems Gonna be dying, blah, 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 blah water, bling, and they're gonna be cast away over here, all the items go down here, poppies get picked up by all of this stuff, 
and we're gonna figure out how to get rid of the poppies. Timers aren't really working too well on this server right now. Iron's gonna get cast away down here. Moved away, and there's gonna be a ton of chests. A, a massive amount of chests. More than we possibly need. Because we might actually need them. Because this iron, it fills up fast with a lot of spawners. So, anyway, And that's how that's gonna go. But we will be working on this. I will be right back. I'm gonna take a cut, guys. And I'll probably just build up the rest of this and... When I return, it uh, probably won't be the same day, but at least we'll have something done. So I'll see you guys then. This episode. Okay, welcome back, guys. I have completed the uh, Iron Golem farm, as you can see here. I'm kind of being quiet right now because there are some people over at my house, but they are distracted, so I can actually record. So I probably will pump up the volume in this uh, for this part of the video for you guys so don't worry about that but it seems like my recording software is picking up the volume so we did go afk a full day two days uh yesterday and today we have made uh 3.2 million dollars excuse me <coughs> and as you can see by my inventory i'm gonna actually show you the strat i use to make uh, money as here, I use the three but one two three button for uh, the hot bar system. One two three, three, right there. You might, hopefully you can't hear the people in the background. If you can, I will probably get rid of that background noise. But as you can see here, oh, and sometimes it glitches. So let's put that back right there. And it's still glitching. So there is something else wrong with this. Put that right there. There we go. All I do is I do this really fast. Let's move that right there. And move that right there. And one more. And one more. And there we go. Full things of buckets. Uh, and that made me forty three thousand two hundred dollars, so it's pretty good. So I have 3.3 million. I could upgrade one of these spawners in a bit, but I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to first sell everything out of these chests. And it goes up to about here. And I'll sell everything in this chest, and then I'm going to show you how much money I got. But before we do that, I'll explain what this is. This is a system, as you can see right here, the water stream pushes everything to the side and that's to make sure if one side gets filled up the hoppers don't uh we don't lose any iron because it stayed in one hoppers and these all can get picked up by hoppers all the iron at least because this sort this is uh sorting iron uh, so this only shorts iron doesn't pick up poppies what this does right here is uh when this is filled uh one thing about comparators is this has uh, this many amounts of uh, items so if this comparator on subtract mode has a signal that's less than or equal to this uh, signal that this comparator sends out with these amount of items no uh, signal will be transferred but if it is greater than that a signal will be transferred turning on the piston and that's what pretty much does for every single one of them and it turns on each and every one of these pistons and I was going to make it longer, but I realized I could uh, separate it down the middle. One actually does not have this setup for it, and that is the, the hopper in the middle with the, with the slab, because if I push it up, I won't be able to put it down, and it would obviously break that sign, which would be bad. So, we're not doing that. Sorry about that. Um, uh, my dinner is ready at my house, but uh, I'll be eating a little later. So I'm going to first finish this up. So there's the signal going. So, as I was explaining, uh, I'll explain it one more quick time. Signal strength of items. Uh, the reason why this works is because items in a hopper, no matter how many items, there's always a specific signal strength. So as long as this hopper's in subtract mode right here, it compares, this comparator helps compare the signal. And if these two signals, the signal and the signal, don't match up, redstone signal is not sent, and that goes around the entire, entire area, and that's why this is the way it is. 
is right here. And we don't have really much else to show, but we can go down in here. And so, pretty much, I'll probably buy one more IG, get one more IG, just to make it a little even, because I, I don't really like it uneven. And then I'll probably um, upgrade these levels. But for now, I'm probably, what I'm going to do, I'm going to explain what I'm going to do since uh, we can upgrade these. I'm probably going to upgrade all of these to uh, rare. And we're going to see how much money we make then. And then we're going to probably work to the goal to getting... Um, uh, let me show you for those that don't know. So rare is uh, 2.5 million. So if I have 6... Uh, 2.5 times 6, uh, 2 times 6 is, 2 times 6 is 12, so point, 4.5, that's, uh, think, uh, that's uh, 6, that's 15 mil, so that's 15 mil just for the rares, and I have enough money for 1, and then 12.5 for, for the mythical, and I think that goes down to 10, yeah, it goes down to 10. It goes down to 10 mil, so that's 60 mil for that. So that's 60 mil. And then that goes down to like 27 mil. And times, yeah, I, 27 times, 27 times 6. That's 162 mil. So we have a ways to get up to legendary. And we're going to do it. And we have to get a lot of money. So we're going to see how this goes. But uh, we can't. Sadly. I need to check with other ranks. But where we will be doing some zombie pigment. Because gold does sell for a decent amount. More. A much decent. Much more. A greater. A greater amount than. Um, than. Uh, iron does. We'll also be probably going for some Endermen for a grind or two. I think uh, Endermen will be our next bet because they're cheap, and that will probably be our uh, probably be over here. Uh, our grinder instead of our Blaze grinder, it's gonna be uh, an Enderman grinder at first, so that will be good. And oh. <laughs> It, this randomly happens. I think something's going on with the server. Uh, it happened to me yesterday, I might as well. The uh, mobs are randomly spawning because of the grass. And I had like a donkey, I had a cow, I had a chicken. But because of clear lag, they die and get taken away. So we might as well just put them out of their misery right now and get some decent amount of meat, actually. Let's see how much does that sell for. That sells for a good amount. So we'll also be going to... I should feed myself a little bit. We're, we'll be also, because uh, food actually sells for a good amount, so we're going to be working on... Uh, so that sells for 25, 25, 25. This sells for a good amount, so we have a reason to make some of those uh, farms for uh, some extra cash. The cow's probably going to go in the next chunk over right over here. Uh, as you can see, we're probably going to put it in this area probably gonna put it back here most likely and maybe then put another one over here and then we're gonna put the the blades of the enderman right here so that's what we're gonna be doing I'm gonna do some quick selling of some items and uh, then we'll be back and probably in the episode out there maybe not end it off. I'm gonna see how much money you have, and then uh, buy some, get some rare spawners for your all, and uh, that will end it off. So I'll see you guys back here in a short amount of time. So we have just finished. <coughs> Excuse me. So we have just finished selling everything. As you can see, it's all empty uh, all the way from the top to the bottom. Only a couple of bits of iron left, but. We have sold everything, and I'm actually going to do a quick calculation for you, because I want to actually figure out how much uh, iron we're going to get out of this. I'm also going to probably really quick uh, change the hopper makeup for you all along here. These hoppers to all face this way, to feed into this one, so pretty much all the iron feeds into one row, and things like that. I think that will um, make it 
uh, feed into one uh, simple row right uh, in here. So we'll do that in just a minute. But before that, I'm going to do a simple calculation. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's ten chests. Two, three, four. So, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That's fourteen chests. So, uh, let's do a calculation. So, there's fifty-four slots in one chest. Times that by fourteen, there is seven hundred and fifty-six slots. Times that by sixteen, you get twelve thousand. 12,096 slots times that by 75, and you should get, ooh, that's a lot, actually, let's see, what's 16 times 75, that's 1,200, so, one chest, plus of 54 times 16 is 864 buckets, times 1,200, I do believe, no, that's not right, uh, so, 54, sorry guys, hold on, let me, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so, one all chest of iron uh, buckets is 64,800. We have 14, we have uh, 140, 140 uh, dub chests, and that will be 9,072,000 worth of buckets if we fill that out. Likewise, 54 times. So one iron times 64, 54 times, 54 times, 64 equals 3,456, this is for just regular iron, times that by 8, because one iron is $8, you get 27,648, so if it's a lot less, times that by 140, that's only $3,870,720. So, by golly, that's a lot more money than with buckets, so we're probably going to stick to trying to craft buckets, even though this would be really tedious. But if it gets to the point where iron is just flowing in, we'll just be selling uh, probably just the iron, because uh, ender pearls will probably be another currency we use. So, anyways, let's get down to what I was going to finish off here. Let's convert two spawners. I don't have enough money to get a third into legendary into rare and then we have a rare one now that should change in a little bit I'll probably uh, ch have to really quickly go to the nether and there we go and let's go home nether just to get into the nether and let's go IS and let's fly over here I also forgot to mention they fixed that um, lag issue with it so as you can see, there was four IGs right there. Let's see, do it again. And four right off the bat. That is a lot. So, that's a lot of money. We are probably going to make a ton more uh, iron now. Because technically, we just added two more spawners. Uh, in a sense, is how I put it in perspective. We just added two more spawners to these spawners. And now we're going to be working on trying to get this row right here uh, filled with some more spawners and things of that nature. So we're making a pretty decent killing, I do say so myself. So let's go back up see how much things we're doing. So let's see how much. And look at all that. That's from a short amount of time of just being here. We've actually made that much, but before we actually end it off, because we we haven't gotten really over, uh, let me do slash swords. I have not yet. I'm at ah yes, I'm at a thousand swords. Dang it! I was gonna get it up. Uh, I think I already did it off camera. I'm at a thousand swords, but I want to actually 
cause show you guys how mob grinding works in this um, uh, in this season because it has changed a bit so let's actually get some nether brick that should be good so I'm gonna go really quick into the nether actually home nether uh, let's go to our uh, nice old skelly farm let's go all the way down here we're gonna be grinding up some skeletons just to show you how it works because I haven't showed you guys that so we're gonna just finish the episode off with this to show you how uh, we grind skeletons or how grinding works it's a little tedious because it's not perfect and uh, there's a little glitches with it I will say so we're gonna get this pumping a little bit get some stacks up let me go into my uh, man this is a I feel like this is a lot slower than it normally is interesting huh. so let me go into my PV one and let's get my the most damage sort of smite five out. So then this is normally a little faster. I don't know why it's so slow. So we already have enough skellies right here to just demonstrate this concept really quick. So we're just gonna bam crank 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 and there we go. We just killed that many. It's really I like it. It makes it fun to just kill things like this. And it gives actually purpose to grinding, so we'll have some purpose there. We'll be also uh, probably doing, uh, I don't know, I would AFK in here, but uh, our IGs are making a lot more money in the overworld, so, than in here, but we will eventually, uh, Cole probably will be making us some more money, but we'll be doing that a little later we need to make this expand this out a little bit and I need to get rid of all the all the um, uh, lava in the nether pretty much because this is all infinite lava sources so there's a lot of money to be made in the nether with buckets of lava so anyways guys let me go back I'm gonna just destroy all this with efficiency 4 The reason they de uh, big stacks die instantaneously unless there's player damage. That's why player damage it's only one at a time. So it actually makes it so that you can grind out um, mobs like um, skeletons, uh, anything a little more freely and have a little more fun with it uh, because you don't have to take you don't have to spend so much unnecessary. Like, you don't have to wait so long. You can stack it up, you can get highly efficient grinder that keeps pouring out, pouring out skeletons, pouring out everything like that to uh, get a lot of things. A lot of skeletons that you can just keep killing them and they keep respawning back. So, that's the nice thing. So, let's just dump this out really quick. And boom, and boom. Let's go back to home, home which is in here and I didn't get all of this back I have a little bit left and so let's do sell all and there we go so thanks for all for watching guys I hope you enjoyed episode 2 of season 3 skyblock hopefully this episode will be out probably over the weekend after my first my first um episode uh, I still need to get the final finale out so hopefully I'll be doing some editing this weekend tomorrow's Friday so I'll be doing some editing tomorrow but anyways thanks for all for watching guys I hope you had a good day enjoyed this episode and I'll catch you guys later